Cliff might be number one. Now, this is the man who is the new world record holder at the snatch, being fired up there with uh, Bajiev's special salts, and now starting his clean and jerk campaign. And he, of course, has this seven and a half kilo advantage over the field. He's light, which could well be worth another two and a half kilos. And we know, because our colleague Todor Shabansky from Bulgarian television has seen him in training doing 210 and not having to lose weight to do it. That's very good. So he's got 380 and two lifts to come. Zooms to the top of the table. So already he's left Hooster with the task of equaling the European record, and that's just with his opener. Something happens to the others. Now Mark Hooster. 2.02 and a half for his opener. Yes, just taking that extra two and a half kilo to go into the lead on the clean and jerk. This man, terrific sportsman, enjoys a bit of downhill skiing, goes off to uh, the Tyrol in Austria pretty well every year around Christmas time, although he won't do that next Christmas because it's time to prepare for the Olympic Games. Twenty seconds. Easy. That's a good start for Mark. Looking very serious now. He knows that he's really got a fight on here. If he wants to retain the European title, he's going to have to work jolly hard. He was champion in 97 in Rijeka champion in 98 so this is a hat trick he's trying to pull off today in european titles First for demas wasn't around in 97 when he got the european title but he was last year and uh, that was a terrific effort by mark uh, spurred on by his home fans but then in the world championships demas got the better of him again and overall demas has got the the major victories in the olympic games when he took the gold and Hooster took the silver. And really, the medal that Mark Hooster wants is that Olympic gold in Sydney in the millennium year. It'll be down in Darling Harbour, right in the centre of Sydney. The weightlifting taking place there. And now Dusan Sevinch back to the now. 205 kilos, five below his European record of 210. Yes, Sevinch, the strong man, but always a question mark on his technique. Well, there's the lead, though. Two to one against. Ah. So we'll have to look at that again. Now, is that a press out? I didn't think so. I thought it was. I thought the lift was okay. Have a look at the bounce on the shoulders when he takes it up. No, that looks perfect. So but again, we're we're looking at it from a different different angle, but to to me, the lift looked fine. We'll just watch those arms again. No, drives the bar straight to arms length, feet in line. Well, we're a bit mystified about that. Georgie Gardeff, 205. This will actually be a personal best for Gardeff in the clean and jerk and the total. Now, now that really plays into Hooster's hands. He must, he must do that lift, otherwise Hooster's going to... Hooster could catch him. 
At the moment in the clean and jerk, it's Hooster with 202.5. Ritkowski of Poland is in silver medal position with 200. And Gardef in picture now on 200 by virtue of being slightly heavier than the pole. And Pochka out of the medals in the clean and jerk, but still in overall bronze position position at the moment and Sevinch still to complete an attempt on 205 and it leaves you wondering whether well so the suggestion is uh, oscillation, which is a, a double, double bounce. Yeah, using the using the spring on the bar to make it easier to drive it overhead. Because of course, when you've got that much weight, you can you can dip, make the bar bend, and then as the, the as it whips up, then you chuck it up at the same time. Tricks of the trade. But a trick spotted by the three referees. A guy really needs to get this 205 because now looking on the, on the start lift, he was down at 202.5, and and if he fouls this, it's going to make you think. Well, you know, maybe the 200 start was wasn't the right decision. Maybe he should have come in at 202.5. Well, in the European Championships, he he opened up a year ago on 192.5, and then went straight to 202.5, and uh, didn't get that. In the uh, World Championships, uh, he opened up on the 200, got it, and then went to 205, tried it twice, didn't get it either time. And Well, if he doesn't get it today, he's, he's, he's giving it back to Hooster. Well, as I said, he has, as we understand it, done this in Sofia before he came here just a week ago. so strong in that first phase now there it is so the 205 that he couldn't manage in the world six months ago he manages today and that finishes georgie guard off on a total of 385 kilos Incidentally, 385 is the total that Mark Hooster has finished on for the last three major competitions. The last uh, World Championship, the European Championship last May in Riza, and the Worlds before that. But of course, to win this, he now needs 187, sorry, 387.5, which uh, would be a clean and jerk of 215, which would be five kilos over the present European record and just three kilos under the world record. Indeed, the um, European total, incidentally, or the world standard, in fact, is uh, 395. Nobody's actually put their name to that. The uh, seven inch now. Well, same sort of technique. Now, is that acceptable? Yes, well, two not, to one. not to the central judge. He's red-lighted him for exactly the same movement, but two judges, and that's all you need, have given him the 205 kilos. So what that means is that Sevinch now... Sorry, 207 and a half, I should say. My apologies to him. 207 and a half kilos gives him the lead in the clean and jerk. Gardef in silver medal position, Hooster's in bronze, Ritkowski's off the clean and jerk podium, and both he and Pochka are out of the medals in both of those. It's the big boys, it's the big three. Now, Sevinch has got one lift left, Hooster's got two, this is 210, this equals Sevinch's European record, and then he's got one lift left. A 28-year-old star of German weightlifting. 
Ronnie Weller might take exception to that, but he's the personality, Hooster, as well as a talented lifter. Oh, yes, but he looks, looks strong now. Well, that was comfortable. And uh, it makes me wonder, maybe there is another five kilos there, and maybe he can be European champion again still. Who knows? Well, he's under pressure. He's being asked the questions. And he's got one more answer to give. Mark has a personal best of 215 kilos, but he did it in a, in a competition in Germany, Germany weighing over weight. So we know he's capable of it. Whether or not he can do it at 85 kilos is another thing. But having looked at that last attempt, it's definitely a possibility. If he had to just go for two and a half, you'd feel happy. But five at this level, in this situation. So Sevinch now going for a new European record. 212 and a half kilos. Yes, and of course, if Sevinch does this, Hooster's got the decision. Does he go for the 212? and get the clean and jerk goal because he's the lighter man or does he go for the 215 and go for the for the overall because if Sevinch fails with this then Hooster will almost certainly go 215 and what a way to finish yes we missed Dimas but it's still a cracking little fight this he's got coming up to 20 seconds Sevinch Love to see him do this. Well, that's a familiar expression. He catches it on his knee on the way up and uh, finishes in silver medal position. So whatever happens now, Mark Hooster's got the goal. Just looking at the board, David, the bar, the Hooster's got 215 on the board, so he's, he's going for it. What a way to end this 85 kilo class with a new European record and all down to the last lift. Indeed, the situation, just to bring you up to date, is that Georgie Gardef is currently in the lead overall, as you see Sevinch's disappointment. He's in the lead with 385, exactly two and a half kilos ahead of Mark Hooster, but Gardef the lighter by 400 grams, and that's why Hooster's got to go for... Five kilos more. So who's to being pushed to and beyond the limit? So now going for the hat trick. And 387 and a half kilos, which I remind you is two and a half kilos more than he's achieved in the last three major championships. Now, if he gets it, he's European champion. If he doesn't get it, then Gardef is the champion and becomes the first Bulgarian for 10 years to take this title. So, let's see what he can do. 10 seconds. Nine. He's a stand, which he does. Well, this would be an amazing end to this championship. Now. Come on, Mark! It is. Come on, come on, come on! Come on. on. Yes! <laughs> Three white lights! Look at that! That's incredible! Yes, look at that! <laughs> a hat trick of championships, a oh. European record, and from the depths <laughs> in the snatch to a gold medal triumph. Hooster <laughs> doesn't disappoint. What a fantastic finish! <laughs> and even his great rival but also his great friend Dimas will surely be joined there's Frank Mantek the mastermind of the German team and uh, we'll be round for a few beers to their hotel they're in the posh hotel by the way on the seafront just across the road from the beach we're uh, opposite the uh, docks and the harbour so they can uh, look at those on the beach. We can look at tankers. <laughs> but uh, Hooster... Well, I'm sure Gar...